9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... revolution was beginning to spread beyond England's shores. Leading the expeditionary force overseas were the Beatles, Rolling Stones, the Animals, Donovan and the Trogs. The British invasion of America was about to begin. The only weapon in their arsenal, rock and roll. Uniform of choice, denim. And at the vanguard of this blue jean revolution, Lee Cooper. But we get ahead of ourselves. To see how Lee Cooper exploded into the market, we have to go back to 1908 and Morris Cooper. He set up the company producing workwear for tradesmen and soon had over 600 employees. Production changed to uniforms during the First World War and in 1937 opened a new factory in East London, M. Cooper Overalls Limited. War once again forced the change to military uniforms. But in 1945, Morris's son Harold grasped the company rudder, changed its direction and changed the name on the door. Soon, 8 out of 10 jeans sold in Britain were Lee Coopers. Fueling demand for jeans were clothing ration coupons. 30 coupons a year per person. Jeans classed as work gear cost only one. They quickly became de rigueur for the masses. The 1950s saw another denim explosion. It was now becoming a fashion statement. By the 60s, society had moved on. Peace and love, the new order. As rock gave way to disco in the 70s, new designs made their debut across Europe, and many celebs were beginning to endorse the Lee Cooper brand. Suddenly, punk burst onto the scene like a train crash. So did Lee Cooper's stonewashed jeans. This long association with rock culture continued to flourish throughout the 80s and 90s. Specialist cuts and innovative new styles perfectly matched the self-culture of the time. Lee Cooper, one of the few who recognised the bond between music and fashion, formed lasting associations with major artists from every era, including Serge Gainsbourg, Johnny Halliday, Rod Stewart, The Undertones, Gary Newman, The Rolling Stones and image maker Jean-Paul Goud. Today, Lee Cooper is sold in over 4,000 outlets worldwide. Over 700 of these are branded stores. They're in nearly 100 countries, with 44 licensees supporting the brand. Over 5 million pairs of jeans are sold annually, with global sales in excess of £150 million. They've also enjoyed double-digit year-on-year growth. Lee Cooper's new flagship store in Beijing has taken the city by storm and may result in a further 200 franchise stores in China over the next two years. Innovation, originality, style, attitude, comfort. These are the criteria embraced to launch the new generation of jeans, flexible denim, water-resistant aqua denim and reverso jeans. They've also introduced the red diamond Lee Cooper range. Steeped in attitude, a tribute to Carnaby Street and the city's edgy music scene. The cut, finish and detail is stunning in every fabric, stitch and rivet. Punctuating this new generation is the new lifestyle collection. The collection was designed to share the Lee Cooper attitude and ethos, perfectly capturing the essence of a Lee Cooper way of life. Lee Cooper is known as the jean brand most in tune with London's avant-garde rock scene. To strengthen this all-important link, Lee Cooper's gone back to their roots, back home to London's East End. And in a city well known for rain, fog and drizzle, Lee Cooper sees a very bright future ahead for this truly global lifestyle brand. <laughs>